Hey, everybody. Welcome back. We're back on YouTube. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi. How is everyone? <laughs> <laughs> great i just love the way that you you're like hi it was very it was it was wonderful i liked it Thank you. i appreciate your approval <laughs> jessica you know <laughs> well this is exciting i am really excited about this one because we're going to talk about names and how yeah. we got our names how our parents came up with our names and i'm ex i love learning this about people Me i too. ask people a lot where their name came from so this is going to be really fun but we want to remind you guys that if this is the first time you're hearing all four of us speak together in a group conversation, you've been missing a lot because we have this cool product called Conversations and Coffee, where every Wednesday in your email inbox, you get one of these conversations along with a vocabulary lesson and a quiz and the transcript. So there's so much more to this that you could be enjoying. So if you're interested in that, go to allearsenglish.com slash fast, and then you'll get one a week. It's so exciting. Yes. All right, so let's get into this, you guys. Um, let's start with Michelle. Oh, Michelle, where did yeah. you? <laughs> she looked at her Are face. you ready? She's like, I wasn't oh. supposed to go first. <laughs> Wait, I want to make a, a quick note for the IELTS students watching that there mm. are questions in speaking part one about names. And mm. students are sometimes baffled how to talk about that in English. You're used to talking about it in your first language. Often names mean a lot more in other cultures than they do in English. Good but we point. have to have this English vocabulary to discuss names and culture around them and traditions. Mm. So this conversation is very useful for IELTS students. Yes, good point. Good pay, pay attention to the interesting intonation we use in vocabulary and mm -hmm. practice answering about your own name. Because that's a really good point. There could be all this specific vocabulary to your culture. And then on test day, you'd be like, oh, I don't know how to say this in English. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to <laughs> For sure. All right, Michelle, we've given Michelle, you you're on the floor. Ah, oh, I got to... <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. Um, Look, we gave you so much time to think. I know, I know. Well, I was just thinking. Oh gosh, I hope I get this right. Um, so my well because so my I've got so Michelle. It's after um my great grandfather Marcus. Oh um, yeah. So that's cool. the M. And then my middle name is Erica, and that this is the one I hope I got right. I think it's for my other great grandfather on the other side whose name was Eli so that's cool yeah. okay I have a question because the name Michelle in French is a men's name and yeah. we the equivalent for us is Michael right so his name Marcus in like the language of your ancestors I don't know is it closer to Michelle or do they just take the m and they're like, just the m, m just the m it's common like in my culture to like the tradition is to just like take the first letter oh. um and cool. name somebody with that letter um, Interesting. so yeah. And you usually, um, I don't know. There's a whole thing like, we, like in my culture, we don't name for people who are still living. Ah, it has to be someone who's uh, passed on. Yeah. So I'm Got Jewish. It. So that's like, but although some, there are, uh, some sects of Judaism that do name after the living, but not mine on my side. It like, it's like you name for people who have passed, like after someone who has passed away typically. Okay. Is oh. there like, are there specific rules about like the, the number you were like first born, second born and like who you're, you have to be named after? Like, are no, there any more rules? No, there's, I mean, I don't think that there are like any specific rules and like, okay. it's just kind of, that's on more of my side of the, you know, cause like the Jewish people are from all over. So it's like more my area. It's more just like this first huh. letter, um, to name after somebody. Um, but I do know other people who like actually name after their living parents or something like that. Um, so <laughs> it, so it like who named their child after their living parents. So it's kind of interesting. It's all over the place, but, um, like for my son, we named him like one, one of his middle name is after my grandfather, but his first name is just because we liked it. So Breaking yeah. tradition so, yeah. a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we broke tradition a little bit. So yeah, that's that's my name. Oh wow. Do your, do, do either of your names mean anything? Um I think I think Michelle, Michelle I think anything uh, I think it's something about God. I don't know. I think it's like one who's like God or Michelle. I don't know. Maybe, maybe right. Google it, something like that, but I'm not sure about Erica. 
It's so funny. Like our names really are like meaningless mostly, except for the person that they might connect to. Yeah. Right. Well, I think the one yeah. who was like God comes from Michael in Christianity. Um, Adam, oh, Michael, the Archangel, that makes sense. Right. Mm. And so he was like, because I think it's something, like I think a lot of names that have an E L in them. Mm-hmm. Are, are something with God because it's like L-O, oh, yeah. like that it's was like, like his, the E-L hmm. is like a, was like a or word for God. Like name. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, I'm learning yeah. so much. Lindsay, I know. Did you I know, that? know a lot of these things. I think parents now, I mean, my parents didn't really think, there was no tradition necessarily. I think they just liked the name Good Lindsay. Name. Yeah. And it was a millennial name, cusp of millennial name. Uh, but I think parents will look up to make sure a name doesn't mean something that they want to avoid, right? I think it's more sure. Or the direction. initials. Or the initials. You got to make the sure they Yes, that's true. (laughs) Like a P and a U. Yeah. Like, no, like you have to be careful with naming a a child. You do. You have to avoid those minefields. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, you do. Actually, (laughs) I knew a guy in high school. His first name was Justin. His last name was Time. I'm not even joking. Oh, I like that. that was literally his name. <laughs> My dad always tells a story. That's he knows fun. a girl whose first name was Cindy and her last name was Rella. Cindy Rella. Oh, oh I love it. That's so cute. Yeah. That's, that is, that's so cute. Yeah. I knew someone in high school named Winterberry. So we may have these oh. people finding us on YouTube now. Who knows? Love it. Yes. <laughs> Parents must you, have Jessica? been hippies. What does your name Um, mean? <laughs> the story goes that Jessica was the only name my parents could agree on. They, <laughs> I did not have a name for some days. You know, how they, many days were I, some, some days. I don't know. It <laughs> like wasn't they left the hospital and you weren't named yet. No, I think we were still in the hospital because my mom had a very difficult childbirth Uh, experience and had to stay in the hospital for a while. So her and my dad didn't agree about much. You know, they got divorced Uh, later. The signs were there. So (laughs) Jessica was the only name they could agree on, apparently. But my middle name is Michelle. So Uh (laughs) (laughs) I didn't know that. That's so funny. But um, (laughs) like you, Lindsay, well, and Michelle, I think the names are so common. I think in all of my classes growing up, there was another Jessica and Jennifer probably. Oh yeah. It's a Gen X name. Big time. Totally. But Lindsay's common and Michelle Uh, as well. But Aubrey, uh, I think your name is more unique. It's more rare. In Mm -hmm. fact, so Michelle means, or Michael, like you said, sorry to interrupt is who is like God with a question mark here. (laughs) <laughs> I don't because, question mark. because that means something different to everyone yeah, yeah. Totally, so it's like hmm? yeah, well, my your name, name is actually rare. a men's a man's name a boy's name yeah. up until like 1970 at least in the United oh, States oh wow yeah. So when I was like in high school, I, I was working telemarketing. And if an older gentleman <laughs> answered often, he'd be like, my name's Aubrey. I was like, weird. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Huh. But then it's so interesting how it's totally flipped. It's and flipped. like my age and younger, <laughs> you'd never name a boy Aubrey. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like Ashley too. Remember in Gone with Ashley. the Wind, the guy's yeah. name is Ashley. And now sure. it's totally yeah. a girl's name. Or so Lauren. Actually, they've just like uh-huh. flipped. But the way I was named my parents, there's this 70s classic rock group named Bread. And yeah. they had a song called Aubrey that my parents oh, loved when I was born. Cool. So they named me after that song. That's and I love awesome. It. One of my earliest memories, I remember them waking me up and bringing me downstairs because it was on the radio and they didn't have any other way to play music. <laughs> and they were like playing it for me on the radio, right? They're like, this is the Aww. song you were named oh, after. I love it. That's so Aww, sweet. That's cool. And I still love the song. It's kind, it's kind of a ballad. It's really <laughs> pretty. So look it up, everybody it out there. Yeah. Aubrey yeah. by Bread. Think it's about very it. pretty. <laughs> it's like a love song. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> That's, oh, that's a, a cool story. story. Yeah, that's I was excited cool. about this one. I'm like, you have a middle name? name? Yes, Anne, which um, I don't think it was a family name or anything. I think my parents just like Aubrey Anne. But sometimes people, in fact, <clears throat> lots of times people will be like, oh, you should have gone by Brienne or whatever. Something really interesting. I could have oh, combined them. But I like Aubrey. Huh? Aubrey's but- better. I've known a lot of Brienne's. Mm, um, Aubrey's, Aubrey's a good better. name. Yeah, all the name. time. And whenever I like order food, <laughs> it'll always be under the name Brie. So I think when I say my name, I like pause and people think I'm saying, uh, Brie. Uh, Do, uh, <laughs> like, I, like I'm trying to think of my fake name or something. Like, it's under Aubrey and they're like, I, no I kind of doubt that you go, uh, Brie. I don't know. It yeah, might just be like, that they didn't hear. I say, I like emphasize the ah, uh, Aubrey. And they just write Brie all the time. This happens like, like, oh, weird. Weekly. Interesting. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. And then whenever, this is kind of funny too, whenever people like in the grocery store or something, if they say, I'll bring, like, I'll bring the hot dogs in your, I'm always like, what, what? It sounds so much like, <laughs> like my name. Aubrey. I think they're saying my name all the time. <laughs> Aubrey, what? <laughs> Mostly because my name's not That's common funny. like you guys is. So I don't, you know, you probably sure. hear yours pretty often someone saying someone else's name and you're like, you yeah. don't even notice. Yeah, 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 I true. <laughs> yeah. Lindsay, what about Lindsay. you? Well, you know, so when my parents chose Lindsay, I think they thought they were like, it was kind of rare for people my age, like 80, 81. And then it became popular 85, oh. 86, 87. Now everyone has the name, but I think they at that time I didn't have, yeah, I don't remember having any friends named Lindsay, uh, growing up. Oh, so I did okay. see a lot of like Jessica's Jennifer's, maybe you guys did. I'm not sure. Um, but not where I was from. So yeah. So my middle name is a family name. It's Geist. So I don't have like a fun, pretty female name. It's a family last name. That's cool though. I don't that's know really why. Cool. And somehow my brother got the same middle name. I don't know why. No, this that's is kind of my... cool though that you, to share Unique. that. Yeah. yeah. So it's Geist. It's a German name is all I know. It's on my mom's dad's side. Yeah. So it's your mom's maiden name, guys? Uh, yes, that's right. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. So, so it was like a way of sort of hyphenating without hyphenating. Yeah, right. kind of. Surname. I, it's like I know yeah. people yeah. who are doing that now. Exactly. I know people who really? are naming their kids. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, what I think I that's kind of becoming a thing again if it had gone okay. away. Okay. Because I remember realizing everyone has these pretty like first names as middle names and thinking, oh, I have yeah. a weird family name as my middle name. Um, but yeah, I guess it's kind of different. I think it's uh, cool. I, I think it sounds strong. It's strong. Well, it yeah. reminds me yeah. of zeitgeist, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, that's kind of a cool word. We don't use it all that often. It's, exactly. It's, like, it it's means ghost. defining something defining about an era, right? Oh, it means yeah. ghost? It means ghost. I mean, geist, as far as I know, yeah. means ghost in oh, German. Sense. Yeah. So like spirit. It's like the spirit of an spirit. era. Spirit. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, exactly. But, you know, I heard an interesting fact that apparently both women and men that use their middle name in their full name, like if I was a Lindsay Geist McMahon or they tend to make more money, tend to do better in work, in their career. Have you guys heard that statistic? I didn't hear that. No. Yes. Oh, let's just like whatever their change. middle name, if you just use it, does it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, look it up. It's have really interesting. Let's an experiment for a month where let's change <laughs> everywhere our name is, guys. We need to put yeah, our let's change three names. <laughs> it's something about, happens. I don't know, like the balance. I'm not sure why, but there's been research well, done on that. more really like confident, more powerful. Right? Like, and you're like establishing mm -hmm. yourself more. You're, exactly. You are literally taking up more space. Right. Yeah. In yeah. people's minds mm -hmm. and mouths and eyes. Maybe that's what it is. It's really, I find that fascinating. That yeah. reminds me, I saw, we watched Wonder Woman 84 and Robin Wright Penn was on it, but it just said Robin Wright because she's okay. divorced. And I'm like, right. yeah. Isn't uh, nearly as impressive sounding. Right. It's, right. it's shorter. It's yeah. pull in her middle name so it's still a three name, right? But yeah. yeah. Very Robin interesting. So <laughs> name well, names. Was a really fun conversation. I'm excited that I got to know where all of your names are from. And listeners, everyone watching on YouTube, I want to know where your names came from. So come and tell us on the Facebook group for All Ears English. We always post a little post about these and you can comment there, start the conversation, and then you can chat with everybody else listening in and let us know where your name is from. Thanks, Sounds guys. Good. Thanks, Thanks, guys. guys. Fun. Bye, Take guys. care. Bye.